Good day. I hope you are doing well. Today we will take a look at 10 interesting facts about Tadarians. Wada was a Tadarian and was an interesting creature. So I wanted to learn more about them. So let's get into it. Number 1. The humanoid species, Tadarians were fly-like, possessing wings, a snout, and webbed feet. Their wings allowed them to hover above the mudflats of their homeworld. They had blue and green skin tones with facial tusks beneath their trunk-like snouts. Tadarians were known to be strong-willed and resistant to mental manipulation with the Force. Number 2. Hailing from their homeworld of Tadaria, the Tadarians were led by a monarchy during the last decades of the Galactic Republic and were ruled by King Kachuunko as of the Clone Wars. Number 3. Conquered by the Hutt Empire long ago, the Hutt had little interest in occupying the world's stagnant wastes and instead set up a feudal system whose vassals answered to the Hutts. Setting up an agriculture-based economy, Tadaria thrived as its population increased, surviving monsoons and widespread fungal diseases throughout their history. Establishing a rail system to connect their swamp-bound cities, all air traffic was restricted to priority hut transportation due to safety concerns on a planet where the natives flew naturally. Number 4. As a people ruled by the huts, Tadarians were commonly seen in the employ of their masters throughout hut space and in other hut-ruled colonies. Other Tadarians decided to leave the confines of the hut-dominated sector and make their fortunes elsewhere in the larger galaxy. Though some Tadarians were known merchants and con artists, many led respectable lives. Number 5. Despite being ruled by the Huts, the Tadarian people were able to govern themselves free of major outside intervention through the establishment of a feudal monarchy. The ruling king sat on the planet's throne, allowing vassals to form allegiances and have minor disputes to solve their own problems. The king made sure to keep his vassals happy and to have their allegiance, but would occasionally encourage infighting to reveal the true character of the vassals and weed out treachery. Number 6. In 22 BBY, during the Clone Wars between the Galactic Republic and Confederacy of Independent Systems, the Republic, intent on negotiating terms with the Tadarian government, led a mission to the moon of Rugosa under the supervision of Master Yoda. However, upon arriving in the system, Yoda's cruiser was ambushed by two separatist munificent class star frigates in an attempt made by the Dark Acolyte, a Sag Ventress, to force Yoda to flee the system and allow the separatists to negotiate instead. Number 7. Despite her attempts, Yoda and three clone troopers managed to reach the surface, where they were forced to fight against Ventress's army of battle droids. After prolonged fighting between Yoda, the clones, and Ventress's droids, the Yoda reached the Sith assassin and the Tadarian king, whose execution was ordered by Separatist leader, Count Dooku, but was prevented by Yoda. Which forced Ventress to flee Urgoza and allow the Republic to successfully negotiate Tadaria's alignment in the war. Number 8. The Tadarian Watto operated as a junk dealer on Tatooine during the lead-up to the war and owned slaves including Shmi Skywalker and her son Anakin. Number 9. During the Imperial era, Willisi was a Tadarian merchant who ran Willisi's elegant and exotic artifacts with his protocol droid RT-3PO. However, Willisi went on to be kidnapped by Wrecker, who himself was a Tadarian. Number 10. While subjugated by the Galactic Empire after the fall of the Republic, Tadarians saw very little interference in their daily lives during the Galactic Civil War and the eventual destruction of the Empire. As their hut rulers were wary of the power of the New Republic, Tadarians remained aloof during the fledgling government's early days. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you learned a little bit from this video. Even though Tadarians seemed like slime balls, some were actually pretty awesome. Consider subscribing to the channel to get all updates and videos as they come out. Also, if you would like to get videos earlier, consider becoming a member on the channel. To support us, hit that like button. Thank you and have a great day.